Oh no. my god. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people too, right? We when you Thank see you, a car, you drive past it, you just gotta like pop out the tires, and then later you drive past that same car, and you're like, oh yeah, a car. Fuck, the tires are gone. Uh, but that said, guys, we are in game. The plane, very similar to El Pozo again. Kind of not great for some of those teams that like to land out Los Leones. And that's going to cluster a few teams together. That said, though, I mean, if this goes El Pozo a second time, you've got to think there's going to be some teams that might try to do something different uh, that didn't quite work out for them this time. We do see a little bit of clustering already on the north side. No chance in Fiumba. They're not going to be landing on the same position. I don't know if that was something that they made the call once they were both in the air. It's going to be a Campo Militara drop. I know Toffee's going to like this one. But we have a few other teams that still need to cross that road that cuts between Monte Nuevo and Picado. We got 303, we got TSM, we got 22, and no chance. And Alcreche is going to be lying in wait, but Fiuma on the rotation. Now trying to leapfrog in front of Dignitas and just go in towards Chumacera proper. Yeah, I, I mean, keep your vehicles healthy, park them inside the buildings if you've got it, and get yourself a center position as possible, taking that chance that this might stay on the town. But right now, gas cans, a bit of a kerfuffle here with VS. It is traded out, and Hikerman is just going to be left behind. Adam taking no more chances here and just trying to keep himself up and rejoin the rest of the team. But, I mean, the rest pretty far split, actually far down to the south. and wasn't sure if this was a late... Uh, rotation from these two members or if it was the potential of a split even but either way gas cans trying to work on keeping three up and you could see though young kings wrapping in this similar area so some cover fire from nikos and greg shot should be enough to keep adam pretty healthy it's actually going to be a headshot there by nikos that gets and one fps knocked down but now it's going to be Oath up next. And oh, that tire pop is really bad. Tickleton finds Penta as well. So it's gone from bad to worse for TSM. I mean, again, it just shows the importance of rotating at the right time and finding that position early on, especially on Miramar with these open areas. You can see uh, just Snakers and so many other players just have perfect line of sight right now. And all of these players wrapping in. Uh, Trisk is going to fall to zone. No chance actually losing two here, but RDS is going to flush out Alo on the, on the wrap. So uh, just, it, I mean, it's a bloodbath here on the edge between Akrache, TSM, and No Chance. I don't even know if TSM's location is still in the circle, but you know who else is in, not in the circle? No chance. I'm shocked that Akreche actually l left that fight. They don't have a lot of area to play there. And with TSM stuck in the position that they're at, at least to me, it seems like easy pickings, but maybe they disagree. Over here, though, and one is trying to defend against Gas Cans. They're actually able to get in front of Gas Cans' position, but the fight is going to break out no matter what. And one is able to secure the kill that he has. Both Greg and Mikus has been taken down. Two kills for him and his Ooh, squad. Honey but Dignitas are here to try and capitalize, try and pick up what they can from this position. Utility comes in. This frag grenade could land inside that shack. Hey, Honey Badger really needs to take care of this positioning that the Young Kings have. If they want to take out uh, this whole corner to play from, Adam from the Gas Cans is going to move on, not waste much time from here. Uh, and that actually looks like the Young Kings pulling back away. Meanwhile, VS Trogloditas fighting right on top of each other for the high ground on the edge of zone. A good trade coming out from both of these teams. And it actually looks like the Trogloditas oh, might have to play a little bit harder for that spot. Luke is now the only one left for TSM. But back here onto the southwest. Great oh. grenade by Adam onto Digitas. They were so focused in on Young Kings that they forgot to consider whoever remained for the gas cans. It's just Adam. However, he was able to get those two kills, but now his position is known, and the rest of Dignitas are going to be tracking him, tracking his movements as best as they can. The circle does fall away from that area, and it is wide open in the center. Polar opposite from the game we just saw in the city. This is outside of SSG's compound. There's not a lot of hardcover left. It's all soft terrain. It's all rolling rocks, rolling hills. I mean, the potential that this could be SSG's game to lose. Tiggleton, though, has been taken out. A creche have been fighting with them uh, time after time, and they should be able to get this res off there for Ruben. Meanwhile, Dignitas finally pushed their way into Chumacera. Nades out here towards Fiuma, and again, trying to clear their edge, giving them the south to play off of. DraftKings spotted for just a second by Poonage. Is not going to catch him by surprise here. Poonage 
flushing that one out. Tries to take down another member, but it is traded. Sparking. Waste no time, though. Fiumbo falls here, and the res should pop off. Dignitas right now sitting on four kills, but have lost two members in the process, and Adam still alive. Remember, Adam took down the other two members of Dignitas. We saw Kickstart actually repositioned his vehicle to try to give him another angle here onto Luke 12, but still damage traded out. Kickstart actually knocked down by Luke 12, and he is going to try to heal, but it is phase five, the blue zone is going to do some damage but we've seen luke 12 pull off wonders in the blue before right now just focused on getting any kills he can onto members of oath who are outside of the zone some spray and pray into the smoke but it's going to be roth ultimately by ssg it takes him out tsm falling now in ninth place and again i mean you kind of have these big dips and a little bit of an open ridge line and not much else outside of SSG's compound to play from. So as the smoke's coming out right now, Vegas working his way into zone, a crutche keeping the pressure onto versus as they're going to get Ropo knocked and fleshed out. Seven kills for our crutche right now. They're starting to build a bit of a hot streak as they push in from the edge from the north side. Trying to track Vegas, trying to track the rest of versus. But that smoke wall is going to give them at least a little bit of safety. But here is Oath pushing on in. They're able to find a little bit of a hole, find a gap in the defense between SSG and Veritas. But how many players can they stack up into the single position? Back on Crenche. Shots are coming in. Devastation is coming in. Not just onto Dodge, but onto Versus. There are a few stragglers remaining from that team. They might be able to get the revive off. But no, that bleed out is happening way too fast. He plants goes down. Down to seven teams, 22 players, and Poonage right now getting a knock onto Lobes. The damage still coming out onto Veritas. And this throwable might be enough to get the confirmation. Danny G actually is going to try and catch him off guard. So that nade fell short, didn't do any damage. And you can see now, Oath actually has an angle onto this. Shots out from Snakers. Pressure on both sides now onto Veritas. Oath is not going to keep their head down on this one at all. They want to engage and hold out this angle for both these teams. I mean, Oath really just at this point needs that Southern control. And the big thing that's keeping up from happening is this Veritas Dignitas kind of uh, traffic down to their south. Now, Dignitas is not in the zone and Veritas should be able to help uh, Oath out and clear this out. But across that ridge line, Oath can't really take that peek without being punished. Meanwhile, a crash being punished themselves as they try to wrap around to the zone, crashing straight into Young King's compounds. Kush goes down. Viz King actually is flushed back out and and one FPS spotting out the remaining members. Ooh, sees the feet actually is going to get the shot there and a crash going out into sixth place. So Young Kings have full access now to the Western side and amazingly enough, Dignitas just Barely found a spot into zone sparking, though. You can see it's really badly damaged. His helmet, his vest, everything is just completely broken. But now he's in throwable range. Yeah, that's a big threat here, isn't it? They've been flashed out, utility out, mollied out. Fortunately, Oath are on another fight of their own, trying to keep eyes both on this south fight between Veritas and Dignitas, but also SSG, who are having to leave their own hardcover, leave their compound by sparking. He's going big, trying to run to the rock, not going to be allowed as Lobes takes him out. We're looking at the top four from this game, once again, including Oath. But can SSG, Veritas, or Young Kings take the win for themselves? Oath are the only team that have four up, though. So that's going to give them a huge advantage with this, but they are going to need to take care of SSG or else Veritas could find a way to set their wrath upon them, pushing towards the northeast corner. The push is coming in from Oath. Oh, great knock. Oath finds one. Balefrost actually picks up a second, looks for the confirmation, but Keenan still up. Doing some work right now into members of Oath. They're trying to take this as slow as possible and actually get a helping hand there from Young Kings and 1FPS to take care of Keenan. It's now a 3v2 v2 as Veritas still trying to share this hillside from Oath. Actually take down two members, Lobes with a nade. Snakers and Kickstart have been taken down and this is the time to strike. Veritas wasting none of it as they continue to bombard Oath with utility. This time, Danny G seeing what he can do but being very mindful of not being within gun range of Young Kings. 
Intel Veritas, they're trying to finish off Oath, and it's going to be another grenade by Ethan to do some more heavy damage, but they are not forgetting about Young Kings. They're leaving Danny G there on the side to make sure that no one is wrapping in on the south, but Bill Frost is going to try and get Snakers up. If they can play as two, this still gives them a passing chance. I mean, Flux hanging back and playing the off angle there for Young Kings as An One anchored himself out center position. Is going to find a flush there on some members of Oath. And uh, that's kind of just how this is going to have to play out now. Veritas can completely turn their attention onto Young Kings who have been split back up. So uh, a 3v2 advantage. But if Veritas can find just a single knock, that that will really turn the cards in their favor here. 11 kills already for Young Kings. Three more up. If they can take them out, it's going to be the game for them. You can see the flashbangs out right now into the smoke as An 1 FPS finds a knock onto Ethan, but it's immediately traded. Flux goes down. Danny G picks it up and actually gets a second knock there. An 1 FPS just needs to take care of Lobes. It's down to a 1v1 here between Veritas and Young Kings. A potential for a chicken dinner, and it's going to be Young Kings that get it in the end. 14 kills as they win our final Miramar match of the evening. I pray my dick get big as the apple time So I can fuck my world for 72 hours